fazeres. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 6, anyone who receives instructions in the world must share all good things with his instructor. See, part of the belief that is used in Kwamba to be a member. Anyone who receives instruction, meaning a lot of you there are buying a pocket of foundation. Kuma Nisha Kuna Yule are buying a foundation. Now, we begin to appear, since it's so there, to go for the yard about to the father who are Yule and in the Kesa. But this was a few. Kuna Mana Fuzi, Napia Kuna Walimu. Now, we begin to appear, Kuamana Fuzi, Yule, Nata Shige, Yale, Walimu, Yale, Walimu, and Fuzi, and present instruction in the world, must share all good things with his instructor. Meaning, to show them how we remember Puerto, we need to share also with our instructor. Praise the Lord, Church. At the Mahama to We all know that our instructor is our bishop. When it's was fluent. So whenever he wants us to do something, Umanisha Kwamba, in a part of support to scare the vision of the church, and we all support it. Praise the Lord. As also we share, we hear the voice of God. Because our overall instructor is our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord, Church. And I promise you that Jesus Christ. Now, Pia, I know why the case of Alexander Pia Terra, who has given a year was above. My foolish young in the Toka Kwanani, why Jesus Christ. So, the voice is calling that let us do what is good always, even to our instructors, President of Church. Let us open the book of Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, chapter 2, 16 to 17. Second Thessalonians, chapter number two, sixteen to seventeen. The Bible tells us, "May our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and God our Father, who loved us and by His grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope." Encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and work. I want also someone to tell us okay, what is what That is verse 16 and 17, 2 Thessalonians. Thank you. 
na kama Rob wa Mungu aishi ndani ya mwetu kumaanisha ya kwamba anaishi katika mioyo yote na anasema anafariji moyo wetu ili tuendelee kutenda chapo ambayo ni mema kila wakati bwana Yesu asifiwe hata asubuhi leo na neno ya kwamba kila Mungu aendelee kufariji moyo wako ili uweze kupata nguvu na kumtumikia kwa haki na kweli bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu ila ndio neno la Mwenyezi Mungu Kwa hope letu, tukahope kwa roho mtakatifu. 
Usiombe kwa jina lingine. Maana Biblia inaisisi ya kwamba na mkaombe kwa roho takatifu. Wakati unapohomba, make sure you are connected with that spirit of God for you to pray well. Praise the Lord somebody. Kama hauna roho wa Mungu ndani mwako, hautaomba vizuri. Kwa sababu inasema and you pray in the spirit of God. Meaning the spirit of God must be in you. Hakuna vile utaomba kama roho wa Mungu haipo ndani mwako. Biblia inasema omba kulingana na roho wa Mungu, sio roho zingine. Tuombe kulingana na roho wa Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us also sit the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 3. Philippians chapter 3 verse 3. The Bible says, for it is we who are the circumcision, we are worshipped by the Spirit of God, who glory in Christ Jesus, and who put no confidence in the flesh. So my Lord. Wapilipi tatu, tatu. Maana sisi tu tawara, tumamudua mungu kwa roo, na kuwana fahari chi ya Christo Yesu. Wala atu tumahini mwini. We have no confidence in flesh. Kwa sababu tukona roo wa mungu dani wetu. Na bibile inasema ya kwamba, we are the circumcision. Meaning, we chapu sote tunaonolewa. When you see the word circumcision, meaning you have circumcised. Na ume final toala, mambo yore aimo ambagi ya uchafu. Uchafu, waneso sikiwe. Kwa mahana, the Bible says, and we continue worshiping by that spirit of God. Remember, we have other spirits. But the Bible is insisting that we worship by the spirit of who? By the spirit of God. Preaching is also worshiping. Singing is also worshiping. Everything that we are doing in Christ Jesus, it is worshiping. And we must all worship by the spirit of who? God. Remember, the Bible tells us God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Meaning we shall worship God in his spirit. If you don't have the spirit of God, you cannot worship him. Because this is the goodness that is in Christ Jesus. If you are well about to depart, we share in our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Church. So when you have that spirit of God in you, you must worship him by that spirit of God. Because the The spiritual things of God. Praise the Lord. You cannot understand the spiritual things unless you have the spirit of God in you. Kama uko kwa mwili hautaelewa. Maana Biblia inasema, msanii wa mwili ni wa mwili. Msanii wa roho ni wa roho. Lakini sisi sasa ambao tuko ndani ya Yesu Kristo, sisi tunasaliwa kwa roho. Sasa sisi tunahubiri kwa roho. Tunaimba kwa roho. Because the spirit of God in us is our power. The spirit of God is in us is the strength of God. Praise the Lord Church. How is it that the Lord is the Lord? How is it that the Lord is the Lord? How is it that the Lord is the Lord? How is it that the Lord is the Lord? How is it that the Lord is the Lord? How is it that the Lord is the Lord? How is it that the Lord is the Lord? How is it that the Lord is the Lord? How is it that the Lord is the Lord? Nataka sisi sote kama wa Kristo tukasikii sauti ya Mwenyezi Mungu kila wakati. Ili unapoitwa hata kuhubiri, huko ni ujasiri wa Mungu. Kwa maana aliye ndani wako ni mkuu sana kushinda aliye wa ulimwengu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na sisi sote tunajua ya kwamba sisi hapa sio kwetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi mahali yetu ni pikuli. We are the citizens of heaven. We are not the citizens of this world. Praise the Lord Church. We are only the ambassadors. Na ambassador ni ule anamuakilisha nichi yake. Nichi yetu, nichi ya mwenyezi mungu. 
Yesu asipiwe. So chochote ambacho tunafanya, chochote tunafanya hapa duniani, we remember to do good always because that is the message. And then we never never kill our body and also share it with others. Let us continue doing what is good. Kwa Yesu asipiwe. Hata tukiwa hapa kanisani, tushirikiane na mambo ya kanisa kwa pamoja because hiyo kanisa akute kwa sababu inasema Mungu anapendezwa sana kwa watu kutenda mema na kushirikiana kwa pamoja hiyo ndio sakata ambayo inamfurahisha Mungu saidi kwa Yesu asipiwe hata mimi nawaambia tunatenda mema kila wakati kwa sababu huu ndio sawadi ambayo inamfurahisha nani Mwenyezi Mungu kwa Yesu asipiwe tushangilie Mungu bwana Jeremiah had spoken before. 
share. Now, katika first Corinthians, now Paul is telling us that we are the temple of God. Now, when we go back to the Old Testament, we understand that the temple had three demarcations. In many times, we are the same kitchen here, so that somebody can learn and understand. The temple had three demarcations. We had the outer court, the inner court, and the holiest place. Are we together? Now, the outer court, the, the okay, when I be to Christo and a part of the area, there is what we call temple, and I could explain. There is what we call tabernacle. There is what we call even another synagogue. And there is what we call church. And there is what another. So <clears throat> let me begin with the temple. A temple was a place of worship. It was a house where people met for worship. Are we together? The temple. So it was built by, by Solomon for how long? For seven years. And then it was demolished by the Babylonian kingdom. And then Ezra, Zerubbabel, together with Haggai and Ezra, Zerubbabel, Haggai, and Zechariah, they rebuilt it. You can remember, because when you talk about those people, you need to know. Zechariah was a prophet, Haggai was a prophet, Zerubbabel was a minister, like I was from Chugachi, and then Ezra was a teacher. All these things are in the Bible. Which way? Now, the temple, they built, they spent 40 years to rebuild it. Are we together? That's why when you read Matthew 24, when Jesus says, destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. Can we read that, please? Because I just want to, to talk to somebody in the next five minutes alone. Uh, somebody, my other part, please, Matthew 24, we can just start from, from verse. <laughs> then Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came up to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said to them, Do you not see all these things? I surely I say to you, Not one stone shall be left here upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered and said to them, Tell him, no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive me. So I don't want to continue there with the conversation, but one day we shall go deeper on the side. So, he is referring to the temple that was built by the people I've mentioned. They rebuilt it. Amen. And when they rebuilt it, it's not by your power, nor by your mind, but by my spirit. And the latter house, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Anyway, now, when he talks about the glory of the latter house, he was not talking about the see general government general building in the latter house. You need to understand. Right? That one was still a physical temple. Are we together? It was still a physical temple. Now, because it was still a physical temple, God was referring to the temple to come. And the temple is calling the glory of the latter house shall be greater. That temple is you and me. Are we together? Because how will this temple be greater than the former? Because this temple called James, inside this temple is found the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the glory. Are we together? So once you understand that, now when you go back to where it's explaining people from the, from the outer court, I told you I am the temple. If I am the temple, then I have three demarcations from within me. I have the body being the outer court. I have the soul being the inner court. And
I have the spirit be the holiest place. So when Jesus says, a time is coming, and now has come, what is telling us is that a time for the latter house to take over has come, where we are going to worship the Father in the spirit and in the truth from within us. Are we together? So when he expects these people, they were doing business, they were in churches, but they were preaching with the spirit. They were in churches, they were singing with the spirit. They were in churches, they were doing everything in a spirit. And God now wants to take them from a spirit to a relation. Hallelujah. So the church has to be transitioned from a spirit to a relation. Because when we remain on a spirit, you are, you are going to struggle even to pray. You are going to struggle even to worship. You will wait past and tell you, you know, we call it Hallelujah. And then he finishes by saying, For my house shall be called a house of prayer. So you are the house of prayer. So when I see people struggling to pray, I pity them. Hallelujah. When I see you struggling to lift up your hands and talk to the Father, I pity you because you are not in the right place. You should be in the spirit, but you are in the flesh. Because the flesh is the outer court. Hallelujah. When is that special? So who is the house of prayer? Is this building we have built or it is you? So you are the house of prayer. And why are you struggling to pray? Why are you struggling to pray? Why is this person? Let us come from a dimension where we are telling people that are not in the and come to a place where you have contact with the Holy Spirit. And there, you have contact with the Holy Spirit. Let me read Jeremiah. Let me read the last book here, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 35. Maybe from verse 1. The one which came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the days of Joachim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, said. So the word of God comes from God, from the Lord, to Jeremiah to tell the people. What is the message? Go to the house of the records. Speak to them and bring them into the house of the Lord. Bring them to the temple. Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. so this is what Abel understood. Meaning Abel understood the language of the blood. Are we together? And when he understood it, he took an animal, he slaughtered it, and it pleased God so much. Why, Pastor? Because Abel's was pointing towards Jesus. Are we together? Because Jesus is the Lamb. And God agreed and he understood. Let me tell you, when you, you worship God in his language, he will never despise you. Hallelujah. He will, because you are speaking his language. When I go at the other side, the kids from Jordan, whichever language you are speaking, then you go and break your words. Now go to your west coast street. When I scan it along, I'm going to be able to do it. 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 I'm going to be able to no, 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 so, when you speak the language of God, it also attracts God and you draw his attention. Even language in Yangu. We learn on the language. So, Abel understood. And then he did exactly what God did. When you do what God did, he will never despise you. Hallelujah. That's why when you read Galatians 5, Galatians 3 27, and say, no, those who have been baptized into water, no. Those who have been baptized into Christ have to love 
and sell to me. Yes. 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 For all of you who are baptized into Christ, have clothed Christ with. Have clothed yourself with Christ. So Christ is that garment. So when you hear as an animal's skin, it is referring to Christ. So that is the language Adam, when you say Abel, understood. Now, after understanding, now Cain kills him. Let us see what Cain did and what God did. Cain kills him. Verse 9. The Lord said to then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? How long does a man, uh, does a female lioness, I'm a oh, lioness, it's not a lioness, I'm not a lioness, I'm a lioness, I'm a lioness, I'm a lioness, I'm a How long does a lioness live? How many years? 15 years maximum, 16. See how a chicken is maximum, 16 years. What about now? Uh, yes, man. Yes. Now, let's look at me. See, my zero. Born and not a man. I don't know. I'm a rich man. But I'm a rich man. So, let's see. I don't know. 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 I don't Yes. So, lion, in each last family, lion, when a lion lies, lion in each last family make a kumi. He gets ten thousand seven years a year. And this is what normally happens. Lion, if you na mazaga lion, lion na pera ku, roar. That roar. So you will. Yeah, he loves roar. Now you are roaring. The more he roars, the more he's dying inside. I'm sure. What are you walking on feet? Now I say here. Now I say here. Now I'm going to put it on the phone. And that we are together. I'm there. And what happens? We draw your seat up. What happens? Draw your seat up. We keep talking together to Mark. When is this for that? So, Lion. Lion. And I should 10 to 11 years. And I should 15 years to 16. I don't know, maximum. So, the reason Lion and Abel are growing is the king of the jungle. He wants to prove himself as the king. Maybe not to sell 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 the king. Maybe Yako, kwa chana na hiyo, wewe ni kilayo, muta kufa mapema. Na hiyo soo si mkina tabaa. Amen. Mama jen. Kwa chana sa hiyo wa ziki loo waka. So, lion, he wants to roar. Wakata ako somewhere, even in the jungle, when he roars, na, ene lo zitoke, ana fraia, ambe, kwa chana na ambe, zikipio na, vijaka skobisi, pa, pa, pa. But I'm afraid now I'm the lion. Little does he know he's dying. The more he's roaring, the more he's dying. What is that? That's why the Bible says rejoice in the Lord. Because when you rejoice in the Lord, you live longer. What is that? So that's about stopping in Yes. Hallelujah. Stopping in Kupriyas. Melancholic. Hallelujah. Obsolete. Be somebody. Hallelujah. Be with a lot of jollity, joy, rejoice in the Lord. Amen. So, what about the tortoise? What is the tortoise? Hallelujah. The right thing is to do is a little tortoise. I think I'm going to ask you my name. Tortoise. Tortoise. And I should ask you how many years? 200 years. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
just go to Zion. <laughs> because my mother had a confusion. For biology, I have to the geography of the So, Toto is an issue 200 years. What is the secret? Toto is. Number one, I'm going to be a Yaki. Yaki is a man, I'm going to be a Yaki. Yaki is a man, I'm going to be a Yaki. Akiona kwa sasa ndio tunapenda na Mungu, jana shida. Yaani ingia ndani anatulia. Haleluya. Wewe upi? If by any chance you decide to kill the tortoise, anasema thank you. You have pushed me 20 more distance. I would have covered in one week. So hiyo kunipepea na kunitupa bara bara kwa mlango, umeniakishia safari. Safari na anatulia. Anatoa kitu angalie, ameenda. I got a bad luck and I'm going to kick them. Yeah, it's peaceful. He does not hide him. And then if you kick him, I said, thank you, God. He has pushed me another next level that I will have covered with one man. Hallelujah. So I'm born father steps. Hallelujah. And then if you pick up on the other side, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to pick up 200 years. For 200 years, now it's going to come back. Hallelujah. 200, tell my life, 15, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Zime kufa kapi. Mwende zosko zani. Ipaka wikichukuza layo ni kiyo kufa ya kwanza, zime enda. Lakini toto is bada wa? 200 years. Why? Because toto is very peaceful. Uka mtupa kwa maji, ayo sawa, always kufa kwa maji. He survives. Ukamtupa kwa ardhi hako sawa ni survives. Hauta wa isikia za uja tota. Wa 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 zi. Hauta wa isikia. Lakini wewe. Niki yungi. Niki yungi. Nisa toka chachi. Sikita. Uwe. Uta kufa mapema chachi tena. Amu kera. Kwa niki. Kwa niki. Kwa niki. Kwa niki. Kwa niki. Kwa niki. Let me tell you. Even me. One day I will die. And this mission somebody else will continue with it. Kwa niki. Kwa niki. Kwa niki. Jesus left. 2,000 plus years ago, and the church is still there. Who is doing it to die and then be stopped? Stop being around. Amen. Did you get back in the game of God? That was the issue. So, listen to this. When you become a lion, you will die again, number one. What is the story? Unajua kwa mimi mara mingi nilikuwa nataka nifikie kwa nyumba. Kuna vitu lazima nifanyie. Haleluya. Sasa hivi nikifika naenda tu mwenyewe. Na hapo kwa kusini nachota mimi. Because nikikaa hapo angalia na watu wana 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 jina. Una baada ya kwa nyumba nataka Jennifer atoke kitchen akuja mpema. Na anaumia. Akichukua tele nyingine si kama hajafika mpema. Na anaumia. Ni Jennifer na lakini ni macho wa watu wengi. Ni nani? Ni, ni baadhi, si kwe? And then ya na kato wako, furious. Namba wano nakuwa asiwa, namba tu nakuwa kiu. Alea. So, there's a good manner. Manner. There are things you can do for yourself. Because it's a bitch you have to manage them to. And then when you talk to church, we say pray. But I'm going to have a feeling for the church. And then I want to say, pray, pray, do my dikalu kako. Mungu nishikiris kwa mwenye mshu ya. I told you what proof that you are born again. Who remember that reason? What proof you are born again? Exactly, I'm here. So listen, a kind of a poor furious, his fury, he can mongo the coward of ya. Now, listen how he understood God better. Let's read and finish. Listen to that question in verse 11. So now, you are cast from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. A 
the fugitive and a vagabond you shall be on the earth. You will be a restless wanderer. You will be walking from one place to another. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, Kuna Makai Muri Kansan. Some of us you will be a restless back only. I'm a vagabond. Vagabond means to talk with that time. Hallelujah. Basi sasa umelaniwa wewe katika ardhi iliyofungua kinywa chake ipokee damu ya ndugu yako kwa mkono wako Utakapo ilima ardhi haitakupa mazao yake utakuwa mtoro na mtu asiye na kikao duniani mtu wa kutangatanga nani anasema kutangatanga nani anasema kutangatanga restless wonder ndio anasema kwamba nani ila anasema restless wonder kutangatanga sasa soma hapa nasema hapo wana they wish for me yeah unajua mimi msomo wa chuo so i know na kiwango hiki do it school eh restless wonder kutangatanga eh when you walk the ground it will no longer yield it stops for you you will be a restless wanderer of the earth utakao mtu kutangatanga haleluya kuna watu watu wa kutangatanga from this place to this haleluya tumeachana tuna alfred hapo unafika kuna tu hapo hapo alafu unatoka hapo sasa ndio kwa tu mungu ndio kwa tu mungu kidogo unafika mabogeni ah alfred uko hapa ndio kwa tu mungu tu hai Nitasitirika mbali na uso wako. Sasa niko mbali na uso wako. 
na kwa sababu ya kuwa mbali na uso wako nami nitakuwa mtoro na mtu asiye na kikao duniani so ukiwa mbali na uso wako when you are outside god you become a restless wanderer tanga tanga haleluya tanga tanga juzi ulikuwa na tanga tanga na kielewa Having believed, 
you were mad in him you were mad in him with a seal with a mark called a seal called a seal the promise or the spirit is the sort of mark of the spirit sorry 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 ah sorry na na kwa baba ni sana so na pe so na sorry nasikia katika huyo mmepisha kusikia neno la kweli ambaye jema za wokovu wenu tena mmepisha mwamini yeye na kutiwa muhuri na roho yule wa hadi aliyetakatifu na kutiwa muhuri na roho yule na roho yule wa ahadi mkatiwa muhuri the center of the first chapter four as that one you know I'm that one let's and get that and get that and mm-hmm. Ephesians 4 verse 30 I'm not that one I think and do not grieve the holy spirit of Pray. god and do not grieve the holy spirit of god with whom you are sealed for the day of redemption in whom you are sealed so who is our mark in whom you are marked or sealed who is our mark the holy spirit so what mark did god put on kai holy spirit so is it wala msi wala msi msimzunishe yule roho takatifu wa Mungu ambaye kwa yeye mlitiwa mbi hata simu ya ukombozi hata simu ya ukombozi finally galatians chapter 6 verse 7 galatians 6 7 na somo zetu kwa sababu it is good to read we don't want to go preach as a poor final verses let no one cause me proper for i bear on my body the marks of jesus see the teacher and some of it so my brother brother pastor finally let no one cause me trouble for i bear on my body the marks of jesus mtu sasa sijai kwa kusukuma sababu ni mwangu kwa kila so 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 tangu sasa mtu asinitaabishe kwa maana ninachukua mwilini mwangu chapa zake Yesu niko na chapa mtu ako na chapa au stabishwa are you getting na hii chapa 666 hii ni chapa ya Yesu Kristo are we together so kain understood kain akaribisha na Mungu akamwambia please nitaanza nitauliwa nitauliwa nikiwa nje hapo nitauliwa hebu cheza kama wewe msago na sababu ya kila kama yakasema kufanya hivi wacha nikuwekee nini alama na hiyo alama nilifanya kaini akafanya vifu ambazo ukirudi kunaona he built a city kwa sababu watu wanashindwa mbona Mungu aliruhusu this man to build a group ya Ali Ali built a city akaita Enoch are you aware do you know the meaning of Enoch you don't know see you on Sunday next Sunday to reveal more on that and he built a city and he named that city after his son and we are going to read the same chapter the same chapter by and you can get to the funga to the one funga in the same so the zuri pia bas ready no bas bas this is the then kai went out from the presence of the lord and dwelt in the land of nod on the east of eden not on the east and kai knew his wife and she conceived and bore enoch and he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son enoch the bible is so good when we read it right. now let us read first john chapter 3 verse 12 first john chapter 3 Verse 12. First John chapter 3 verse 12. Are you there, Pastor? Can I read? Yes. Do, do not be like Cain. Do not be like Cain, eh? who belonged to the evil one uh-huh. and murdered his brother. And murdered his brother. Mm-hmm. And why did he murder him? Why did he murder him? Because his one actions were evil because his actions were evil and his brothers were righteous and his 
brothers were righteous. So killing comes from God or from evil? Is killing demonic or godly? Jude 11, as we finish. Jude 11. And you can read also Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11. So, go to them, yeah. they have taken the way of Cain. Some also are taking the way of Cain. They have crashed for profit into Palam's hair. Mm -hmm. They have been destroyed in Korah's rebellion. My Lord, Korah, give the name of Korah. And in the Pasuka, the Torah is there. So, Kai, when I want to end up on a today, Kai. So, when we come to a dimension where to call the mark of the Holy Spirit, that's why I'm telling you, let us become the house of prayer. Because when we become the house of prayer, this is what is going to happen. We are going to be marked by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be our mark. Hallelujah. And so, I will pray according to the Holy Spirit, and nobody will touch. Those who have the Holy Spirit. Actually, let, let us finish in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22 and 23. Set his seal of ownership on us and put his spirit in our hearts as a depositing, guaranteeing what is to come. Exactly. And now he who establishes us from verse 21. Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God. So who anoints us? God. Mm -hmm. Who also has sealed us and given us the spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. When people are struggling in church to pray, they are lacking the seed. I'm at the mark. What is this person? Just as you come into church, you have to hear here. Hallelujah. What are you going to do? Ni kwa kipindi cha kutumia kwa WhatsApp. Wala wako WhatsApp na ongea ngo aguze mwingine because you guys are talking. Na kwa video hapo na. Na 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 leo. Eh kuna wale ambao wamesoma huko wajaje wanataka kuleta tax. Ndio sita hivi. So ndawaeleza mwana. Magari tatumia taxation and all that. So because it is to them who get pesa to once again and we are supporting that. I will not catch it. Come with the other way, I can't. I won't catch it. But we have to support our president. Otherwise, we will not be able to say, "Oh, if he one thousand months, what? When she will be able to do this? When can he have money to do another thing? Tomorrow. Last one month, we will be able to do it. Two hundred and ninety. We just say no more. Nine thousand and ninety-one. We are twenty one. You are number nine hundred and nine. Don't worry, you are two million. Why do you miss a one? Two million. You say now we are talking about one thousand six hundred. For me, it's a bit nine hundred. It's quite significant. Nine hundred and nine. Don't you think we can go up? Because we got million one thousand. And you say we got two fifty. That's the problem. Two six. No, no, no. We are talking about one million one thousand. So what is going to help us is to become the house of prayer. You cannot be the house of prayer without the mark under the sin. I would be able to say, pray that you may not be tempted. What he's saying is pray in the spirit. And in the spirit we overcome because the spirit is a mark even in prayer. Hallelujah. So let's embrace prayer, let's embrace learning, and we shall go deeper in the will of God. Somebody can say the Jesus.
Hallelujah. So, um, I want to, to finish everything because uh, 